a rectangular metal loop with 0.050 ohms of resistance is placed next to one wire of the RC circuit shown. The capacitor is charged to 20 volts with the polarity shown. Then the switch is closed at t equals 0 seconds. What is the magnitude and direction of current in the loop at 5.0 microseconds? Assume that only the circuit wire next to the loop is close enough to produce a significant magnetic field. Let's begin our solution of this problem with our own sketch. We have a capacitor, and this capacitor is in series with a switch and a resistor. We're told that this capacitor has a capacitance of 5.0 microfarads. The resistor has a resistance of 2.0 ohms. And the capacitor is initially charged, bringing it to a potential difference of 20 volts. We'll assume the 20 volts is to two significant figures. Based off of the charging of the capacitor, the positive charges accumulate on the top plate of the capacitor, the negative charges accumulate on the bottom plate of the capacitor. This RC circuit is near a conducting loop. This conducting loop has a width of one centimeter, and it also has a length equal to two centimeters. The loop is a distance of half a centimeter away from the bottom wire of our RC circuit. And let's go ahead and re-express the length in terms of meters. So this is 2.0 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. Now we're told that this bottom loop has a resistance. And the resistance we are given is 0 0.050 ohms. To remind myself that this bottom loop has a resistance, I'm just going to add a resistor symbol in the loop. And I'm going to label it as R sub L for the resistance of the loop. Our goal is to find the current in the loop at t equals 5 microseconds. So what we have here is an RC discharging circuit. Now, currently, the switch is open and the capacitor has been fully charged to contain a certain amount of charge on its plates, and it's charged with a particular potential difference. Now, at time t equals zero, we close the switch. And when we close the switch, that allows the capacitor to supply charge that drives a current clockwise in the circuit. Now, being a RC discharging circuit, as the capacitor discharges, the current will decrease. And earlier, we've, we derived an expression for the current in an RC discharging circuit. And the expression we derive said that the current decays exponentially. And that exponential decay is equal to the maximum amount of current, which I'll call I naught, times E raised to the minus T for time, divided by the product of the resistance and the capacitance. Now remember, that maximum amount of current is the current that first flows as soon as the switch is closed. And from Ohm's law, we're given that that current is equal to the potential difference across that fully charged capacitor divided by the resistance in this loop.
So this means that our current as a function of time is equal to the potential difference over the resistance of our RC circuit times E to the minus T over the product of the resistance and the capacitance. So what we can see here is we have an exponentially decaying current. Now, being a current, this current is going to produce a magnetic field. And it's important to realize this because it is this magnetic field that will induce a current in the loop as the current in the RC circuit changes. As the current in the RC circuit changes, so does the magnetic field that it creates. And as the magnetic field that that current creates changes, so does the magnetic flux through the conducting loop. And if the magnetic flux through the conducting loop is changing, that will drive the induced current, which is what we're looking for. So the next thing we should do is to find the direction of the magnetic field through the conducting loop that's generated by the current in the RC circuit. And we're told that only the magnetic field due to the bottom wire of the RC circuit is significant. So let's use our right hand rule on that bottom wire to find the direction of the magnetic field due to the current of that bottom wire. So in using the right hand rule, we'll stick the thumb of our right hand in the direction of current, which is to the left. And then we will curl our fingers around the wire. As we curl our fingers around the wire, notice above the wire, our fingers would be pointing down and below the wire, our fingers will be coming towards us. So this suggests that the magnetic field below the wire is coming towards us out of the screen. And I'll go ahead and represent that magnetic field as a series of dots. And these dots indicate that the magnetic field is coming towards us. Now notice how I'm drawing these dots. I am drawing these dots getting farther and farther away from the previous row of dots. This is indicating that this magnetic field produced by the bottom wire of the RC circuit is not a uniform magnetic field. It varies with distance. And this is something we know because earlier we derived an expression using Ampere's law for the magnitude of the magnetic field due to a long wire of current. Now we're going to assume that this wire is long in comparison to the distance away it is from the, from the wire, from the conducting loop. And so using Ampere's law, we had shown that the magnitude of the magnetic field as a function of the distance away that, from that current carrying wire is equal to the permeability of free space times the current carried by that wire divided by two pi times the distance away from the wire. This shows that the magnetic field varies inversely with distance and since it varies inversely with distance, this is how I knew to draw a non-uniform magnetic field.